Look at you. No braces, all the internet you can handle. I wasn't so lucky. Invis is not your parents' braces. Invis is predictable, less painful, more comfortable. Invisalign. Second seeded Palo Alto needs a win over Valley Christian to advance to the D1 finals. Jumping ahead to the third, it's one nothing Pally, two on for Jacob Hudson. Hudson hits a line drive over the left center fence to put the Warriors on top two to one. Two batters later, Jonathan Simrock comes on with one on and hits a hard ball that makes its way to the outfield. Jeff Hurd scores from second, 3-1 Valley Christian. Bottom of the inning now, Xavier Esquire comes up with no one on, hits a long fly ball to center. That is gone. A solo shot for Esquire to cut the Warrior lead back to one. After walking the next batter, Simrot gets out of the inning with a double play going Griffin Allen to Trevor Haskins to himself, Jonathan Simrot, a good turn there. In the fifth, Hudson leads off the inning and grabs his second hit of the day. It's a double down the left field line. A good day at the plate for the VC left fielder. Jeff Hurd follows it up with a single to center to put runners on first and third for Easton Kreschel. And kaboom, she is out of there. A three-run homer for Kreschel as Valley Christian begins to bust it open. In the sixth, Hurd picks up his third hit. A RBI double that scores Trevor Haskins and Josh Minami. Jeff finishes three for three at the plate with a couple of doubles. 8-2 Warriors and looking to extend the lead in the seventh, but wait! An amazing catch by Pally's Henry Bolt. Might be the best catch of the year. But in the bottom of the seventh, Simrock closes out his complete game with a ground out to end it. A three-hitter earns you a hug from your catcher. 10-3, Valley Christian wins it to advance to the finals. The Warriors will take on many highlights from that one coming up.